Hey everybody, Nick Fershaw here with Jonah Friedman of MLSsoccer.com. The start, Jonah, of our SoCal Soccer Spectacular right here on the Santa Monica Pier. We hear a lot, Jonah, about what is the best soccer market in the country. You're a local boy. We're going to find out today why LA has a very good argument. Yeah, I'm biased. It's my hometown, but MLS Cup is here. I truly believe that the Southern California is Soccer City, USA. Can't wait to show you some of the sights and sounds that make it the LA area the soccer town it is. We're going to head over to a pickup game with uh, John O'Brien and Carl Martino. We're also going to head over to UCLA, visit their men's soccer team, the Rose Bowl, a number of different activities. Uh, let's start there. A pickup game here in Santa Monica with Kyle Martino and John O'Brien. How did this whole thing start? How often do you guys get together and do this? Um, that's a good question. We've probably done it like five times over a year, but recently okay. it's happened more often. And, uh, it's fun, man. I mean, as you can see, it's a beautiful setup. And, yeah. uh, it's good to like, play a little soccer. So this is my pace of soccer now. This is what I can handle. For people that are really wondering what you're up to, what do you have to do? Uh, I'm trying to start, I'm just finishing school and I'm trying to start a program for Soccer Without Borders in LA, serving uh, refugee and immigrant youth when they arrive. So I'm trying to, trying to do that, get into that more next year. Well, thanks guys, uh, now we're on our way to one of the best soccer pubs in LA. We're here at the Cock and Bull Pub in Santa Monica, definitely the best place to watch soccer in Santa Monica, and one of the best places in all of LA. Uh, they got a lot of history, a lot of tradition, a lot of people come here on Saturday, and there's some rivalries to boot. Yeah, first there's a Josh Saunders glove autograph behind the bar, so that's kind of cool. But also, the owner of the bar is a Liverpool supporter. The manager of the bar is an Everton supporter, so there's a little bit of tension among the ranks. And there's uh, this place is packed on Saturdays, packed for Champions League's game. We should stick around here uh, for the MLS Cup. We should set up an Occupy. Occupy Cock and Bull. Done, let's do it. Well, uh, we'll get out of here for now. And next up, uh, the UCLA campus, we're going to visit the Bruins men's soccer team. <laughs> We're here on the campus in Westwood with former MLSer and now the UCLA men's soccer coach Jorge Salcido. Jorge, thanks for having us, man. Yeah, thanks for being here. Uh, a lot of history on this campus. A lot of great soccer players have come through here. When you have these young guys, these college guys come in, do they understand the weight and gravity of what this program is? Yeah, you know, we, we make a big deal of it throughout the recruiting process. That being a part of this program and coming here representing UCLA, you wearing the UCLA jerseys. Yeah. Is, uh, is something really special. You know, you look at uh, our history and tradition, we've had more players than any other university in our country that's uh, put players into the MLS, and so we're extremely proud of that fact, but it also brings big level of, of understanding for the guys that they are coming to something pretty big. Now you got play, you used to play for the Galaxy. Right. You got Kenny, who used to play for, you, for his dad, obviously right. a little bit emotionally invested. How much of a Galaxy camp is it right now here at, at UCLA training? Yeah, obviously, you know, we also have five guys that right. are currently on the Galaxy roster. Uh, I've coached four of those five guys. I played with Frankie Hyduck here at UCLA. Um, you know, obviously Bruce Arena is the most successful U.S. soccer coach we've ever had. Uh, his son being here, obviously, you know, there's a lot of lineage between UCLA and the Galaxy now. and. Uh, we're excited for all our guys, excited for, for Bruce to, to possibly become the first coach to win three MLS Cups, and so uh, we hope that happens for the Arena family. And Nick mentioned that all the MLS guys and U.S. national team guys who have gone to school here, you've got some guys in the U-20s who play for this team, and there's more coming down the pipeline, aren't there? Absolutely. You know, we, we pride ourselves on bringing some of the top players in the country, and, you know, Kellen Rowe, Eddie Ariola, they both represented the U.S. Under-20 in the last cycle, and uh, we definitely will have guys that are in the next cycle, the under-20s as well. And so uh, we're proud of the fact that UCLA is well represented at all the national team levels. A lot of talent and a lot of history make UCLA definitely one of the must-see spots on the soccer landscape in LA. Coach, thanks so much for having me. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming here. Thanks. Rose Bowl in Pasadena, the site of some of the biggest soccer games ever played in the United States, including that 1994 World Cup final between Italy and Brazil. Jonah, there was a time in this country where if there was a big international game to be played, it was played right here at the Rose Bowl. And this was also the home of the LA Galaxy for the first seven years of their existence. I still remember my first MLS game, 1997, between the Galaxy and Kansas City Wizards. I still have one of those horrible teal and black pinstripe jerseys to show for it. Do you wear it how often now? Just a bit. So now we know what Jonah Friedman wears to bed. Again, the Rose Bowl, really a lot of great games here. You can look back at Gold Cup finals and some friendlies between Barcelona and the LA Galaxy. One of the greatest American sports sites uh, there ever was and certainly a great place to watch uh, some of the best soccer games we've seen in the United States. We're done from here. We're going to head up to, to downtown LA, meet up with the guys at Bumpy Pitch.
Hooper. We're here with Ben Hooper, co-founder of Bumpy Pitch Clothing uh, in Los Angeles. And Ben, for people who don't know, who might not follow the, the shirts that you guys are working on, everything you guys have done over the years, how long have you been around and what do you guys specialize in? Uh, we've been around about five years or so, and um, we specialize in soccer-inspired gear that's uh, more lifestyle-driven than, uh, than performance, so we just kind of use it as a vehicle to explore the lifestyle and culture of the sport. You know, we've done a number of vintage shirts, yeah. um, and we've also done some more original stuff that, uh, that isn't quite so vintage-driven, like we just uh, did this one, Bumpy nice. Pitch Los Angeles shirt, is uh, sort of our ode to uh, MLS Cup this weekend, and obviously us being from LA, we wanted to do something special for it. So. Uh, we just released that, I think, this week. Ben, tell us where you, everybody can find some of the cool stuff you guys have been working on. Well, everything's available uh, in our online store, bumpypitch.com. Uh, we also sell in some online stores. Uh, Urban Outfitters is now carrying the brand and some other specialty stores. But uh, bumpypitch.com is everything. There you go, bumpypitch.com for all the great designs these guys are working on. Thanks for having us out Thanks, here man. at your warehouse, man. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Well, that does it for our SoCal Soccer Spectacular, Jonah. Los Angeles, California, definitely one of the best soccer cities in the United States. Yeah, it all caps off on Sunday at MLS Cup 2010, LA Galaxy versus Houston Dynamo, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, ESPN, ESPN Deportes, TSN2, and Galavision. Check it out. Oh, that one's going in. <laughs>